Reporting to you live here at the Jurassic World Live Tour in Hamilton, Ontario. It's live for last week, episode 144. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So firstly, after doing a lot of YouTube research yesterday, throwing back to this scene from last week's episode, tonight is officially the night where my cousin Lou and I will finally see the beloved band called Baby Metal. But unfortunately, you guys will have to tune in to next week's episode in order to see the music video of this Japanese metal band. Well, it's finally time to reveal the great time that my cousin Louie and I had last night watching live and in person the band that we know as Baby Metal. <laughs> And after some of these fun highlights from the concert. <laughs> where I ran into some other fans that might make another appearance later on in this episode. Look who I see at the desk clock and Baby Mel Show. Yo, Nick! Yo, he promised that he will see me at the Super Cakes event on Friday. We have these reviews of the concert from the one, the only, Lou's Reviews. So Lou, what did you think about Baby Metal? I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy I'm gonna die. Woo! That was so much better than YouTube. So much better than YouTube. So much better YouTube than YouTube. YouTube Live doesn't even capture that. <laughs> Gotta see this live. Live! Anyways, getting back home last night and remembering that the light in the pantry has been out for quite some time, not being replaced for the past several months. While we were at the concert last night, the wife went out and replaced that light bulb in the pantry to surprise me. But after that good news, I do unfortunately have some sad news to let you guys know about. Recalling the pair of sports sunglasses that I got a great deal on several months back? Well guys, guess who found them broken and snapped in half in the car while they were driving earlier today? And sadly had to throw these babies out saying goodbye for one last time. But moving on, giving you guys a heads up, it's going to be pretty busy this week. As tonight, I'm going in for my first of three night shifts doing six shifts in the span of seven days. But before I go in for work, I have a quick birthday shout out to a childhood friend that I remember from my Good Shepherd and St. Stephen's days. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Andreas. Happy birthday, Andreas. We also got a birthday greeting to one of our other friends, of whom you guys remember gifted us this Yoshi keychain for the mini, and who I haven't seen since we went to Ace together almost a year ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrea. Happy birthday, Andrea. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So actually, before I went in for my night shift last night, going to the Young and Eglinton area here, we visited for the first time the Philippine Consulate of Canada in Toronto to surprise and celebrate my Tito Neal's oath upon dual citizenship with Canada 
and the Philippines. Look at that reaction. Oh my God. You made it. Congratulations, Tito Ranil. And after this ceremony here, as well as taking videos of him with his newly presented certificates, we had the opportunity to meet and greet Angelica C. Escalona, the Philippine Consulate General herself. But moving on, in between night shifts, recalling this scene from last week's episode, at the plaza across the street, I saw that Little Caesars is holding a $5 pizza special that I will probably hit up sometime next week. Going back to the times when they sold them for only five bucks, guess who just bought a $5 medium pepperoni pizza on their customer appreciation day? But guys, before I enjoy this hot and ready pizza, and before the wife finds out that I'm eating this pizza here all by myself. Oh, so good. And going for my second night shift in a row tonight. I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my university friends from back when I was at Ryerson. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sandy. Happy birthday, Sandy. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So today, September 21st, I just wanted to start off this segment by singing a song that I always sing at this time of the year. Of which you guys know goes like this. Do you remember the 21st night of September? And on that note, we'll do the birthday greetings of September 21st. Starting off with a birthday shout out to a very successful entrepreneur buddy of mine of whom I'm remembering from back at our Neo Wysik days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Varga. Happy birthday Varga. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my Filipino American friends out there of whom I'm remembering partying with during the SMIOA galas in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you Vanessa. Happy birthday Vanessa. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who I'm remembering working the step down unit with several years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you Grace. Happy birthday Gracie. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, before I go in for my third night shift in a row tonight, but unfortunately not really feeling 100%, we sadly have a video with one of my coworkers who you guys know I've hung out outside of work with and who is officially moving on to another unit come October. Yo, last night was the last shift that I'll have with this guy. Ravez, how was your last shift and where can we see you next? Mm, you'll see me around. Yeah, <laughs> at the next TFC game yeah. when they're actually winning. <laughs> But yeah, Ramez, it was great working with you over the past couple of years. And buddy, all I gotta say is I'm wishing you all the best for you and your future. So last night's third night shift in a row, one of the most busiest that I've ever had, with many of these things keeping me occupied, if you can read the fine print, I really felt like I was just cursed. So in the attempt of getting a quick little bite in the middle of all of this, I went to the break room for a couple of minutes, finding this nice little tin container on the table and recalling all the many times that I've stuffed my face with some of the surprises in the break room in the past. I definitely eyed these treats, picked one up and took off my mask to devour this surprisingly delicious donut to try to get my mind off these stresses for a brief moment. As well, at the end of my shift, all exhausted and stressed out in the locker room, not believing the type of shift that I just had. Throwing back to the time we were on our original unit a couple months back. Guess who saw that their work shoes were also overstressed and overworked since we took that video from that previous episode. Anyways, on my morning commute, trying to distress by doing some carpool karaoke with the windows down while stuck in the morning rush hour traffic. I eventually made my way to the Saga home to pick up a package for my Ate Shah, as you guys can see here, right before passing out in the guest room. But guys, guess who woke up a little bit too early before their alarm went off once again after only one and a half hours of sleep. 
Anyways, after making the Friday afternoon rush hour traffic drive all the way to Hamilton today, I'm gonna do a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I've known since I was in grade two at Mother Teresa. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But moving on, back to the real reason why I'm here in Hamilton tonight. Right now, I'm in downtown visiting the first Ontario Center where I've been to several times in the past with one of my favorite T-Rex shirts on to meet up with the one, the only, my cousin, Chloe, to check out the show of the Jurassic World live tour. So last night, after spending quality time with Chloe and Anthony watching the Jurassic World live show, with these being some of our favorite scenes. Oh. a message for one of our cousins who had missed out on this experience. Dodoy. Wow. Kids are gonna love this dodoy. Why did you not bring them? Should have when you had the chance. Dinosaurs or nothing. No dinosaurs. <laughs> and guys, after it was over, we had this review of the show from the one and only Chloe herself. Chloe, what do you think? I loved it. Favorite part was? Stegosaurus. <laughs> but afterwards, I had to jet out of Hamilton, having double booked myself on my one and only day off, driving all the way back to Queen Street West in Toronto to catch this month's version of the Super Kicked Wrestling Show. And guys, after some of these highlights, that were a few of my favorites from Super Kicked.
I ran into a couple of friends at this event. Yo, as promised, guess what I ran into at the super kick? Yay! With also a cameo from this guy who I haven't seen since this episode, my buddy Scott and his speechless review of Super Kicked. Yo, Scott, how was the Super Kicked event? <laughs> Anyways, on to today, recalling how last week we were house sitting slash cat sitting for this little cute one. The wife and I received this amazing thank you card from the cat. 40s owners. But yeah, this afternoon, before I go in to start my first in a set of another three night shifts, missing tonight's Nuit Blanche Festival after having such a fun time with friends out at the 2022 Nuit Blanche last year, we first have birthday greetings to a childhood friend of mine who I'm remembering playing house league soccer with them back in our youth. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nathan. Happy birthday, Nathan. We next got a birthday shout out to a friend of mine who I used to work with at those BVG summer camps. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Becky. Happy birthday, Becky. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to a coworker buddy of mine who I will continue to watch BMO soccer matches with in the future. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Ramez. Happy birthday, Ramez. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after I wrapped up my segment yesterday, somehow I was blessed with some magical powers being able to levitate this leaf that you see in this scene right here. Before I got ready for my night shift, taking the TTC subway to commute to work for the first time in quite a long while. And after my shift, going to Sunday morning Catholic Mass at the church that the wife and I got married at, right here at the Our Lady of Lords Parish, we're off to my second of my scheduled three night shifts tonight. But before I go in for work, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who you guys have seen make previous Laugh From Last Week cameos in the past, as well as you guys saw a couple weeks back when we did that Alma Escape escape room. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Indy. Happy birthday, Indy. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Guys, to be honest, I'm pretty excited. Cause tonight's night shift will be my last doing a span of six shifts in the last seven nights. Meaning I'll actually have several days off for next week's episode, of which is already jam packed cause I got plans for each and every day that I have off. Anyways, for today, after getting a decent post night shift nap in doing all these night shifts recently, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of the legendary F car friends that I have that I always try to meet up when I'm visiting Vancouver. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And well, with that, guys, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.